Welcome to Upgrade. I'm your host, Frank the Tank. Today we're going to demonstrate how to bring your SketchUp model into the Lumion elements. We're also going to show you exactly how to sync the two models into one area so you can make changes on the fly too, especially working with Lumion. Lumion does not have any of the editing programs to editing elements to actually make changes on the fly. But if you have SketchUp, and you have a Lumion on, or if you have Revit, you can do this on any application. It does have a lot of this sync application. So we're gonna take a look at it and we're gonna mess around today with SketchUp. So we're gonna bring the, the actual, an architectural building into Lumion. So the way uh, we're gonna look for right now, a free element that they have, a free uh, model that they have in, in 3D. Um, so we're gonna go into the 3D warehouse and we're gonna find one, and I found this particular model. It's a anime style high school building in China. So we're gonna download this, of course. And this, let's take a little demo first of all, what we're gonna look at. I have the model in here, and I'm running actually on Google um, Chrome right now, and it really is pretty good. And you can do some of the stuff you can do in in, um, in SketchUp, and uh, it, it has the same little features and you can see that little twirly thing now you're not going to say get the same reaction that as a render it's a little slower in here but just remember we're running uh, uh through the browser itself so we're going to download this and then we're going to export it from this app element to the actual um sketch uh, to lumium element so let's go ahead and close this out and download it all right, so here's the actual element that we just brought in from one from the free um, warehouse, 3D warehouse, if you notice. And here I have the actual structure. It's very detailed. I mean, I like it. And it has a lot of, you can see the locker rooms. You could go into it. Um, this is a model I would love to bring into Lumium, including some of the stuff. But you got to fix some of the things out because um, there's trees in here that you don't want to drag with you. So I would suggest maybe get rid of some of the stuff like tree elements because we could add our own trees in there. So let's go ahead and do that. So what you do, you grab, you go into file, export, 3D. And then what you want to do is choose this one, you know, in particular, all right? The first one you see. Uh, then we go to your, wherever you want to save it to. So we're going to save it here. We're going to name it um, school, just school. There's school. And they give you other elements here. You can save it, but we're going to keep it as that for now. And we're going to type in, we're just going to remove this part and name it school for now. So we can know this, the difference of it and just save it. And it's going to export it into the 3D element. So here we have it. We just completely export it. So now let's go ahead and open Lumium. Now, when you export it, it creates these two files in here, of course. One folder contains all the actual elements that the structures have, you know, the pictures, uh, maybe some signs, the colors, and, and uh, like I said, the 2D elements of the actual bushes. That's why I don't like to import bushes or any trees that you're creating in SketchUp. Bring your model um, bare with no, no no other structures in that, that could interfere because they, when you translate some of these things, they, they're translating into 2D. So let's go ahead and import this stuff into a 3D model. And here's the actual school, if you notice. And if you have Windows 10, you could actually even open it up on Windows those 10 so we're going to create from the actual templates that it has right now and if you try to create some of these templates they have a, a their own animation their own um wind and storm and weather i mean some of these things are pretty awesome to get up and go but for now we're just going to get a plain old feel and I, i'm going to choose this element here in the corner a plain environment and we're going to bring that and then we're going to bring in our model so right now there is pretty much nothing in this area where we can um, have any kind of structure or any kind of animation at the moment. But we are going to bring that school in. And the way you do is you, now that we translate it into a 3D model, you have to say import here and you just basically look for your model. And if you see it, there's a school element here. We're going to bring the school and it's telling you exactly what kind of category you want to do it as a background, as a main uh, part of it, or in, we're gonna do it as a main part right now. Import animation, there is no import anima import edges and lines. We can do that, but for right now, we're just gonna keep it as bare bone minimum. So let's go ahead and bring it up and see how the system translated from actual SketchUp to 3D to Lumium. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. 
All right, so once it imports, it, it, this is a huge model, so it took a, quite a few minutes to actually put in here. But now if you can see it, I actually have my model right here in this corner. We're gonna take a look at it where we're gonna put in place. And in particular area, there's <laughs> anywhere you can put it pretty much in here. So we're gonna grab our structure. We're gonna grab our model here, which you see it, where it says schools. These are all the structures I have in here currently. And right now, these are all the actual structures that it imported into the 3D model. And we're gonna grab one here. In particular, we're gonna grab this school. And here it is. We're gonna place it down wherever we can. We're gonna see if we could put it here. And there. We have the element so we're going to put it in here we're going to do a little we're going to do a little bird's eye view of how it looks in the, into this kind of structure and if you notice everything pretty much fit in like exactly how i want it you know it's just you know it's pretty much in the playing field but we brought the element in here and then we could start adding the other details in here and of course remember i told you about the trees how it brings them look look at the structure see this is what i'm talking about when you're trying to bring your sketchup models like um uh, tree models this is how they look like it they're 2d elements so we don't want to create more of the fluff in here very simple so we had trees in the front of this building here. And all you gotta do is go to your tree section. And, and of course, if you buy the pro version, you're gonna get more uh, of, of these kind of uh, structures in here. So we're gonna grab a tree, a nice little fluffy tree in here. We're gonna just, uh, let's see if we could add another tree, larger tree. Here's a beautiful tree. And we're gonna add trees and we could just, simply keep going to we could add all these trees that we had before and get it going now if you notice um, it's very simple playing in here um, this is where you actually come in and add, start adding elements so besides all these trees that they have they have hundreds of trees in here hundreds of hundreds of trees we go and start adding grass better grass right so grass details are a little different all right so then the grass details they, there's plain simple uh, black grass you know white uh, brown black mountain grass i mean there's different elements in here that you can create uh, we're going to put route little grass areas in here where the tree is actually underneath of it and if you notice this is a bird's eye view that we're doing this and um if we want to put trees, we could also put uh, flowers into the elements here, little plants here, uh, different bushes, you know. And this, you know, you could just come in here and fluff it up, I mean, I, on your own time. And they have multiple, multiple different kinds of um, elements in here that you can add. Um, even with the actual movement, you can see some of the wind moving them. Uh, I'm just bringing them so you can see. And they have hundreds of hundreds of different structures in here. It brought these elements in here. They were part of the SketchUp. It brought them in here, and I'm very surprised that they look very well. Um, we're going to put somebody pretending it's a teacher here. And, of course, we're going to add a human, people. We're going to humans here. And we're going to add somebody that's maybe standing a woman. We'll put a woman. So we're going to put her. Let me see. And, and if you go see a little, that gives you a little demo of how they, what they're going to be doing. Um, let me see in particular. This one. I'm going to put a, a someone here checking out their phone. And and if you notice, the, cl the, the clash is, is in there. So... See how it picks up the actual model right here? If I'm gonna put it right here, it kind of picks her up right there. So it knows that there's a structure there and it doesn't wanna place the model in there. So once you have that person in there, you can always rotate her. So here I'm actually rotating her. And if you notice all the elements that I brought in from the actual Lumium, um, it, it already created an animation. It has a pre-animation in here. And of course, this could be a teacher in here and demonstrating. And let's put people in the hallway here so you can actually see more of the movement. And we'll use this angle here where people are walking back and forth. We keep continue on. We're gonna bring in more people in here and let's structure this part. This guy's checking out his phone. We're gonna click here. We're gonna rotate him to the opposite way. Maybe he'll be walking this way. And that's pretty much what it, we're gonna do. We're gonna see a 3D um, a little rendering. 
If you notice, this is a live view of what you're looking at, of all these structures. And they're all standing and they're all integrating. Um, they don't bump into each other unless you want to. I mean, you could animate them to walk certain areas and do certain things. You know, there's animations that people go in and walk and sit down. Uh, you could actually demo this. And this is pretty much from SketchUp. We're going to put a Coke machine instead. We're going to put a Coke machine right here, um, right outside the school. We could just do it here right here we're gonna put a coke machine here we're gonna rotate it rotate the machine so it could be facing the proper way so you could add all these great elements that they have in here let's keep continuing on add it some more we're gonna do pamphlets in here if you notice these are pamphlets so we're gonna put them in here so it's part of a you know we're just gonna rotate them too make sure that they're facing the right way and um you know, when we're walking by, we could see more details in here. And if you notice, this is a pamphlet. It's a little crooked right now, but I'm just doing this as a demo. And this is something that we took a 3D sketch model, import in here, add in internal um, um, structure, internal animations and stuff, and people. And it's very simple to get up and go. I mean, they're very detailed and they have a lot of good animation when you actually start installing these things. Uh, they have, great, like I said, two different packages, two different prices. Um, you get more models in here, more elements, more animations, more moving stuff in, in, in these kind of elements. And this will give you a, a better idea how your actual structure will look into a real environment. And like I said, on all this, we could start changing elements here. We could change the weather. We could go in here and make it dark from day to dark and um completely completely dark so where are we going to require actually light if you notice the the coca-cola machine was the only thing that was lighting up in here because it takes realism from an actual a system where it lights up and of course uh we could change all sorts of weather information how the sun's going to reflect in certain areas because if you notice the uh, the SketchUp even imported the actual glass. And this is something I, 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 I'm I very impressed that it's able to take a, an existing, a pre-existing uh, um, system that you go or uh, architectural building that you create in SketchUp and bring it in here. And it, it feels like it, it would it belongs in here. And of course, you start putting roads in the in, the, in here, you know, pick up areas and you could add all those elements in here. We're also going to change the background in here. And once you bring your model, you could do all sorts of great things on this application. So this is the uh, Lumium, how to bring SketchUp models into Lumium. So if you have any questions or any comments, I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and we're out.